Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town. Let's take a look here at a knife by Columbia River Knife and Tool. This particular knife is the Ultima uh, model number 2007 and as you can see by the box it's a good size knife. It ships in a plastic sleeve and comes with some literature. This is uh, Columbia River's catalog that they uh, that they produce and uh, include with their knives. It, it shows all of the different knives they make, uh, which is which is considerable a considerable amount. I really like CRKT. I, they I think they make great quality knives uh, at great prices. So um, as you can see, this is a fixed blade uh, tactical type knife. Let's take a look at uh, take a look here at uh, the sheath. The sheath's got some real great features to talk about. Uh, we'll start with the uh, the snap enclosures. the The material you're looking at is Cordura, which, as you know, is a ballistic nylon, uh, very rugged type material. Uh, there's dual snaps here that hold the uh, the knife in, and the knife fits into the sheath here. And there's a plastic insert inside there. Uh, and uh, the knife blade can will can go in either way. It's not you know it's not specific to either way. And we'll set that aside. Take a look at that in a minute. Uh, but uh, there's the there's the plastic insert there that I was talking about. Uh, you've got two good rugged snaps here. Uh, your belt loops here are are very very interesting. We've got. Uh, Turn them over to this side, and you can see it's it's Velcro. It snaps here, and it's also Velcro. So you can, if you've got a, a more narrow belt or or something that you're putting this around, you can you can you know put it around that, and then Velcro it tight so it won't slip either way. Or it, you can do it this way in a, in a more conventional sense. So it goes either way and uh, does snap tight there. On the back of the of the sheet, there are all of these. Uh, it is a Molly compatible, so you can see there. You can see all of these, all these different uh, slots here uh, for wear with Molly compatible gear. Uh, and we also have the uh, uh, a, a leg tie back here, so for it to go on like a your, around your thigh. I'm not going to open that up, but you can see what that is. Uh, there is a uh, cord uh, length of 550 paracord here. It comes with a cord lock, and uh, there are tie-down holes all around it. You can see that that paracord is is looped in there, uh, in those tie-down holes. It does also also have a utility pocket on the front, and the and the pockets has a a, a lid or latch on it, which is also a buckle, uh, so it can be adjusted. So, for example, if you have something. In, in your in the pocket here, which extends, which is larger than the length of the pocket, you can adjust this so that there's that there's that extra space there to, to make up for it. Or if perhaps it's something that that is just just the size of the pocket, then you can you can grab the tail here and you can tighten that, you know, pull that down like that, and then and then it, it cinches up tight against the pocket to keep that from coming out. So that's good for a, a sharpening stone or a multi-tool or or whatever, what have you. So it's a uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good sheath there. Very good quality. Very rugged. You know, it's it's that that ballistic nylon it's, that's going to hold up for a long time. All right, let's take a look at the knife. There we are. The knife uh, it has a blade that is, uh, this particular model has a six and three quarter inch blade and that is made of 1.4116 steel. It has a Rockwell hardness of 55 to 57 which is slightly uh, more malleable than some of the other steels that, that you might be more familiar with. And the reason for that is, is that, that that slightly softer steel does have a more increased level of toughness. Uh, it is a more uh, a tougher steel, meaning that that it can withstand uh, greater stresses 
and and uh, you know a, a tactical knife like this is made for sort of survival and and it's a combination fighting and survival knife really and and so it's going to need to it's going to need to be able to absorb shock and and be able to uh, be used in a rugged way without chipping or or breaking or you know breaking the tip or anything like that the the softer steel will be able to handle that much better um, it does have a bead blasted finish and you'll, let's take a look at that blade it's I really like the shape of this blade it's kind of uh, if you look at that there you can see it has kind of a it's a combination sort of combination drop point tanto point and and if you look here at the at the edge you can see if you look closely it does have a, a just a very slight uh, katana type bow to it so you can see that that this would be excellent for piercing as well as pretty much anything else you want to do with it it does have a, it is a the, the bevel runs down the the bevel down on each side here it's the there's a, a high point in the middle and it's beveled off on each side uh, flat ground down to the edge and I'll just give you a close-up of that but I like you like I say that is a bead blasted finish look at that tip that's pretty sharp now let's talk about the handle the handle itself is pretty interesting too you can you, you're noticing a, a very interesting design there and uh, the story about this handle is that Columbia River Knife and Tool worked with a team of medical specialists uh, to to come up with what would be the perfect design for a knife uh, based on the geometry of the hand uh, you know, what are the what would be the the most ideal design to work within the human hand and they came up with 23 ideal contact points uh, that within the hand for for the ideal grip and that and the handle was designed around that that research this handle does achieve 22 of the 23 perfect contact points uh, for for that enhanced grip and you're probably noticing that it does have uh, it does make use of the uh, triangle on that gripping surface and that's no accident either that research also determined that the triangle was uh, one of the best gripping surfaces and you can see that deep siping in there between those surfaces uh, that's to allow for runoff uh, and uh, you know of fluids or water or anything the handle is made of Zytel. It is full tang construction. That's one solid piece of steel all the way through there. Uh, but the Zytel handle is held on to the steel with four Torx head T6 screws. It does have a lanyard hole. And you're, it does have this, uh, this bottom tip there, which uh, that's actually been made as a pry bar or as a, uh, to aid in prying. Because at some point, any knife like this is going to be used, going to be needed to use to pry something, and rather than doing that with the tip, this was incorporated in there to, to try to try to use that for prying if if you have to. The shape of the handle is also rounded in this way as well as as well as this way. It's it's kind of like feels like gripping a golf ball almost, and it's really really a good good knife in the hand there that's a whole lot of knife right there this knife is available uh, in a uh, serrated does with the serrated the VEF serrations it is available in a shorter blade version which would be uh, 4.95 inches and there is also a, a shortened version with the serrations that does have the black uh, black coating on the blade. So there you've got it. That's uh, the Ultima. is one heck of a knife uh, with this with this sheath and that research. You've got a good rig there. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.